What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today we are doing an unboxing of the Queen's Beast Greyhound and that finishes off the Queen's Beast Silver series for us. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I got a package here and it's got the Queen's Beast Greyhound in it. I'm super excited about this. Um, I want to let y'all know, be sure to stay till the end because I've got a little bit more than just the Queen's Beast Greyhound in here. So I'm going to leave that for a bonus at the end, a bonus reveal. So make sure to stay till the very end of the video. But let's go ahead and unbox this Queen Beast Greyhound and let's talk about the Queen's Beast series and everything like that. And I'll also showcase the other coins in the Silver Series. So here we have it. The Greyhound. We have been waiting a while for this coin to come out. I, um, I did not think it would come out this year, right? I thought that, you know, uh, maybe it, they would have to push it till next year, but I don't know. Maybe they just had them minted already, but they just didn't release them, which that's really nice. But we're going to put it in an airtight so that it's nice and protected. <clears throat> and we'll get this thing on the road. So, um, let's see here. Okay, so we always want to protect our Queen's Beast coins. So we want to make sure we get them encapsulated. Wow. Here, I'll give y'all a look outside the capsule so that you can just get a really good look at this coin because this is a gorgeous coin. This is the two ounce Queen's Beast Silver Greyhound of Richmond 2021 coin. Wow, that's a cool one. I was unsure of how the Greyhound would turn out, but I really like it, to be honest. I really like the look. And of course, the Queen's Beast has always got some nice heft to it. And this is my first silver purchase, actually, since silver really kind of broke over $20 an ounce. That's because I collect the silver and the platinum series of these coins. I'm looking at maybe picking up some of the gold and things like that, but... For right now, my main focus is just the two ounce coins and the one ounce platinum. So, we will put this in an airtight. And there we have it. Nice black ring airtight. So I'm going to lay out these coins for you all to see the entire series one by one. And I'm also going to talk about it. And I'm also going to, you know, talk more about, you know, the platinum and everything. Um, but basically, I think that this was a very fun series to complete. I think that... You know, it's always fun. And in fact, this is my first series I have ever completed of like coins and things like that. I'm going to talk about another series I really kind of like and everything. Just kind of. Getting these coins all laid out for y'all. <clears throat> Probably gonna cut everything. Okay. And so, there we have it. So there we have it, guys. All 10 of the 2-ounce Queen's Bees coin series. Now, 
One thing about buying these semi-numismatic coins is their price goes up significantly over time. So as you can see, this is the first lion they released. It's the 2016 coin. Uh, this one is very hard to get near spot today. The Griffin, for some reason, became the most valuable one of the series. And so this is the one you're going to pay the most money for. Um, the Dragon and the Unicorn are also very high uh, on their cost over spot and their premium because they are older coins, 2017 as you can see. And um, even the bull uh, has increased quite substantially in premium. So the first five have increased in premium and the second five are a little bit easier to find at a more reasonable premium. But I wanna talk about these coins, right? So these are semi-numismatic silver coins. And what that means is they are bullion, but so how it works is they mint a batch and then they move on to the next coin. They might mint some more, but um, typically they don't mint that many. Now, if you look up the mintage of the Queen's Beast, you'll see that it's unlimited mintage, but that's really only within the span of its release because they don't just mint the 2017 Lion or 2016 Lion and then five years later mint a whole bunch more. At least they haven't done that as yet. They would be in their rights to do so because they do have the mintage listed as unlimited, but I highly doubt they're going to do that because the Royal Mint, you know, really prides itself on blah, 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 blah making its customers happy. So this has been a fun coin series to complete. This will go into the deep stack. I will not be selling this stuff probably ever. It would be the last thing to go because, you know, it took a lot of effort to get these pieces. But I want to also talk about something, guys, okay? It doesn't matter if you buy something, you know, and it's in perfect condition. And I'm going to explain why. All these coins are in very good condition. There, there's, no, really, there's not really any problems with them that I have, except for this lion, okay? I bought this BU. I believe it was from Provident or someone. And it came to me in perfect condition. But even so, it got a little milk spot right there. And it's been in an airtight since day one, and it's still milk spotted. Now, it's just a little spot right there. It's not too big a deal. But that would affect, you know, me reselling this. So that's going to, you know, put a damper in the resale of this. That's one good thing about platinum is platinum doesn't tarnish. It doesn't milk spot. It doesn't do anything like that. So I don't have to worry about the platinum coin. Um, but yeah, guys, I would suggest, you know, if you want to get in on a series like this, you know, try to get in early and try to pick up each coin at release, you know, with these kind of series, it, the worst thing you can do is bank on spot going down in your favor and then you getting the coin for a better deal, right? Take for instance, this Greyhound, right? I bought it right when it kind of came out. I paid like... 60 62 or three dollars for this coin and then spot tanked and i'm like and now everyone's selling it for like 55 bucks i'm like you know i really missed out on an opportunity to get a better deal on that coin but you know it's whatever it goes in the deep stack it doesn't matter right um if you're buying for a flip things may be different but yeah guys live unboxing of the queen's beast greyhound um, my favorite, as you all know, is the bull. I just love the bull because I think when you start stacking and you start going hardcore in the metals, you become somewhat of a metal bull. It doesn't matter if you're silver, gold, or platinum. Y'all know I'm platinum, but, um, that's a really cool one. And, um, yeah, so that would be my favorite Queen's Beast coin. Um, and so, yeah, guys. And I told y'all that I have a bonus coin to kind of show you all. And so I'm going to show y'all that now. I told y'all that in the beginning, and I'm going to show y'all that now. It's a pretty cool coin. 
Uh, I know it's not everyone's favorite, but it is still pretty cool. And so, <clears throat> yep. We're also going to put this coin in a capsule because it is somewhat semi-numismatic. That's the thing, guys. You got to look at semi-numismatic coins and you got to, you know, look at their premium. You know, their premium when they're first released is usually a little higher than Eagles, like a buck or two. But if you pay that premium, it usually pays off depending on the series and the coin and things like that. Like the Queen's Beast, if you bought a tube of Griffins, you could easily double your money because that coin is worth double spot, basically. If you bought two of the first Lions in the Queen's Beast series, I mean, realistically, you could have probably close to doubled your spot or doubled your cost with that coin as well. You would have had to wait a few years, but you could have doubled your overall dollar cost. So something to think about for sure. Uh, just do your own research. I know <clears throat> Stormy does a lot of coin reviews on what coins to flip and buy for a flip and things like that. Um, I don't really get that much into the flip game. Sometimes if I find a good deal, I will pick up and then probably ultimately end up flipping. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, guys, so I got the bonus out here. And I'm going to show you all what I picked up. I'm going to get it in the airtight real quick so we have it protected. And we're going to show it to you all today. <clears throat> and there we have it, guys. The Lion King coin. So this is an Atmex exclusive, and I thought it was pretty cool. And one thing about, and of course, of course, anyways, one thing about um, the Atmex exclusive coins is they typically go up in premium. Now, some of that has to do with Atmex just increasing the price after they've been out for a while, but still cool coins nonetheless. And I plan on showing y'all my like Disney Star Wars silver coin collection at some point. I showed it a, a while ago, but I've had some pickups since then, so. But yeah, guys, just wanted to share this little bonus on top of the Queen's Beast series. The Silver Queen's Beast series is finally complete. Epic set for sure. Just wanted to share this with you guys. And until next time, we will see ya. Thank <laughs> you.